Well, good day, everyone. Today, I'll be presenting my English month story entitled The Bakunawa and the Seven Moons. So, let's begin. The Bakunawa and the Seven Moons. The Supreme God Bathala created seven moons with one lighting up the night sky every day of the week. These moons were so beautiful and bright as if they were massive light bulbs glowing in the darkness. The moons brought so much joy and happiness to the people of Earth. However, they also mesmerized one particular sea dragon who wished to have all of the moons. This creature was the huge, fierce, mighty, and scaly Bakunawa. It hatched a plan to take all of the moons for itself. On one unlucky evening, the Bakunawa rose from the waters and ate one of the moons to the horror and grief of the people. But it didn't stop there. Every night, it would eat one of the moons, leaving the night sky empty and dark. Eventually, the colossal sea beast was successful in its plans and ate all but one moon. The Bathala became aware and weary of the sudden disappearances of his beautiful creations. Meanwhile, the people on Earth learned to arm themselves to defend the last moon from being devoured by the Bakunawa. But what were they going to do against a massive creature that could easily tear all of them apart? The people of Earth thought and thought for many hours and eventually came to the idea of scaring the Bakunawa away with loud sounds. So they prepared their drums, trumpets, horns, and many clamoring instruments. Then, on the very next day, loud noises, screams, shouts, sounds, music, and drums could be heard from the people. This also awakened the Bathala to the scene. The people witnessed the Bakunawa slowly eating the last moon. So they all shouted at the top of their lungs, Return our moon! The dragon, taken aback by the resistance coming from everyone on Earth, quickly returned to its cave in the ocean. Meanwhile, the last moon returned to the skies and illuminated the darkness once more. The people rejoiced that their moon came back, but the Bakunawa was waiting for the perfect moment to gobble up the last moon. To stop this from happening, the Bathala planted bamboo on the moon that looked like dark stains from a far distance to make the moon look less delicious and attractive to the dragon. The dragon never gave up on trying to eat the moon, however, and attempted to eat it from time to time. But the people stayed alert and ready if this were to ever happen again, and guarded the moon with their lives. As long as the bamboo stays on the moon, the dragon will never succeed in its evil task. And so ends the tale of the Bakunawa and the Seven Moons. So that's all. Hopefully you enjoyed my story. Thank you and goodbye.